So we've built out our comments component. Now we want to add comments and display them. The first step, however, is storing the value that's typed in our text input somewhere. So we'll store it in our local comments state in a property called text. And on input, we'll add an on change. It'll be connected to a handle change function which will take the event, it's going to update state, it'll just update the text property with event.target.value. So we're updating the text property in state on the form within the title props. We want to set an on submit connected to this.handle submit. It's going to submit our form whenever we hit enter after typing something. So this will take an event too. We'll call event.prevent default first. And we'll need the text from state. And we'll also need post ID from props. And then we want to call a function, say handle add comment, that will accept the post ID because we need to know the post that we want to add a comment to, as well as the text. And then we can clear out the text property in state after submitting this form. And in order to clear out our input value, the value that was typed into the input, we can make this a controlled input. And destructure text. in render, head down to our input, pass it a value prop set to text. So when text here is empty string, the text in the input will have a value of an empty string. So to create handle add comment, we're going to go back to our post feed. And we'll create this new function right above render. Handle add comment accepts post ID and text. To make the request to add the comment, we're going to need the auth data from props. Actually, I take that back. We won't need the auth data. We'll just need to take the text and put it within a variable, an object called comment. And we'll execute a function called add comment. We'll pass to it post ID in the comment object. So we'll create this new function in our API file. Export const add comment. This will be a put request, so we'll await axios.put. The path will be slash API slash post slash comment. And the payload will be an object with our post ID and our comment. So we'll import add comment at the top of post feed. We'll get back from this request our post data. So our post will be updated with the new comment. We'll want the post index. So we'll take this.state.post, find the index. Where a post its ID is equal to post data dot ID will create our updated posts array. And this array will be exactly the same as our handle toggle like array. Then we're going to set state with it. We'll update our posts with it. And we can catch any errors as well in a console error. So we need to bring handle add comment down to post. And from post, 
we'll destructure handle add comment. We'll pass that down to comment. And then in comments and handle submit, we'll grab it from props. So let's save. And hopefully I didn't make any errors. So let's try adding our first comment and say nice post. And if we look in our console, we won't have any errors. We're not going to see our comment no matter how long we wait. If we refresh the page, we still won't see it. And that's because when we head to our post component, we're not updating our state either on component did mount or component did update. So in order to display both the new comment as well as the comments count in component mount, we need to set comments to this dot props dot post dot comments. And for component did update, we can add another conditional. It'll take a look at our previous props and say if previous props dot post dot comments dot length if it's not equal to this dot props dot post dot comments dot length. We're going to set state. We're going to update the comments array to this.props.post.comments. So now if we save, we head back, we should see our first comment. We don't see its text though, so we must have made an error. We head to comments, and I go to show comment, the show comment function under the line break I for forgot to include comment.text. Now we can see our comment with the user who created it, their avatar, their text, when it was created, as well as our delete icon. And if we add a new comment, hit enter, we should see that comment added immediately. <laughs>